Hello and welcome to Code Forward. I'm Natalie Morris. Hello, my name is Natalie Morris and welcome to Ask the White House brought to you by Skype and Bing. This is your chance to ask questions to the people that matter in the administration. Now the White House has selected the discussion topic today, so it will be their policy views that we are discussing. Skype's role here is to simply facilitate the conversation between the American people and the policymakers. Today's discussion topic is immigration, and joining me to do so, we have Cecilia Munoz. She is the director to the Domestic Policy Council, and we also have Vice President Joe Biden. And thank you so, so you, much Natalie. both for joining me. It's an honor. It's a delight to be with you. Thank you. Now, the Vice President and Ms. Munoz will be taking questions from callers via Skype, but you can join the conversation as well if you'd like to do so on Twitter. Use the hashtag <coughs> AskTheWhiteHouse. Now, before we take any live questions, we'd like to ask you, Mr. Vice President, why is immigration such an important topic to you? You know, at its core, Im Im immigration is all about uh, what's built America. Angels and Demons is about the age-old battle between science and religion. It's set here in Rome, the birthplace of Catholicism. We sat down with the film's actors and director to talk about what it was like to film such a controversial movie. I really think that you had the line of the movie when you said, if science is responsible for creation, what's left for God? Well, that's the heart of my, my character's dilemma, I suppose. He's a real extremist. He believes very much in his God, but I think he believes even more in his church. And Facebook wants to be sensitive about your recent breakup. The company has introduced some filtering tools that will spare you the agony of seeing your ex's photos or suggesting them in your photos. It also prevents things that you are tagged from from showing up in their feed because if you're drowning out your sorrows in an embarrassing way, it's none of their business. Well, someone gave me a Moby wrap, so I'm trying to figure it out. I am not succeeding. I've been trying to get my daughter in here, and I think I almost dropped her a few times. So I'm going to have to watch a few more YouTube videos of women who can strap this on like a ninja, because I am not one of them. Have you ever considered buying a standing desk for your office or cube, but you didn't want to make the investment? This cardboard version might be exactly what you're looking for. And if you decide you don't like it, you can always recycle it. Okay, you have seen the movie, but you're going to pretend you have not because... I'm going to make believe. Okay, if you leak any spoilers, I'm going to kick you right out of here. <laughs> so I want to talk to you a little bit about merchandising. When yes. I was a kid, I had the Yoda with the little hut, and mm -hmm. it had an orange plastic snake that went around. I had that. Did yeah. you? Yes. I played but... with mine, which is why I lost that snake. Oh, and many pieces yeah. pieces of the... Yeah, yeah. But whatever. I had boy cousins. I think yeah. So I was more into... It. Roman. And finally, if you've been wanting to stream Back to the Future to one of your streaming devices, it is your density. I mean, your destiny. Amazon will now bring the trilogy for free to its streaming service for Amazon Prime members. Okay, <laughs> how much does the service cost? I'm cracking my phone. How much does the service cost? 